Hey, everybody. Eric Rant, Director of Sales with Alon. I have my lighting expert, Jeff Kaplinski, joining me today. Jeff, why don't you say hi? Thanks, Eric. Jeff Kaplinski here, Senior Technical Specialist with Alon. And today we're going to talk about the new lighting architecture. And that is exactly why I dubbed him our lighting expert. In one of our most recent software updates, we completely overhauled the experience of how you as the dealer bring in lighting. And probably more important, how lighting is experienced by the by the end user. We spent a lot of energy making sure that things like RGB control were dialed in. Things like circadian rhythm lighting, which is obviously becoming more important into, into our home's ecosystems, were dialed in. And I'm going to kick it over to Jeff, and he's going to kind of walk through the minutia and the details of how we actually did that. And then I'm going to show you the experience that the end user gets for both lighting and shades. So Jeff, why don't you take it over? Thanks, Eric. So we're back in the configurator here, and we're going to go into the lighting tab. So we're in Eric's system here, and you can notice that we've got a slew of different, we've got a Phillips Hue bridge, we've got a couple of Z-Wave pieces, and we've got a RAW 2, this is a primary lighting system. So traditionally what we've done is we used to have to bring in all the lighting loads, they'd populate in here. This part was easy, but then you'd have to go and make a custom page. A lot of time creating the UI for the end user, something to make it look nice uh, and intuitive for the end user to navigate. So what we've done new in the 8.6 release is we've adopted what we call area navigation. So now you see we've brought in all of the lighting loads. You can see the whole list here. But we've got some options here up top that are new, so location. So if I go ahead and click this button next to location, you can see that we have defined a building, which is the rank home, and we've defined a level, which we've got basement, main floor, outdoors, and second floor. And then we've also got our area. And on main floor, we've got dining room, family room, and so on. We go to basement, we've got different amount of areas. So by doing that, first we have to define our areas, our levels, and our, our zones. And then we just go into each lighting load, and we drop each lighting load. We associate it with the specific area that it resides in. So we're going through here. We're assigning family room to the family room, so on and so forth. By doing so, we're going to now auto-generate a page based on the end user wants to see a whole floor view or just a specific area view or we can even see a whole building view with very little effort done to create this ui because it's made and created for you now we can do this with lights we can do this with shades we can do this with rgb lighting the end user to eric's point has no idea what lighting controller it comes from because it's all blended seamlessly into one ui Eric, you want to show everybody what it looks like? Yeah. So as Jeff alluded to, my system is kind of a hodgepodge. Lutron is the main backbone of the system, but we've got some other stuff, some Amazon stuff and some Philips Hue stuff. And if you take a look at my interface, go into the, the lighting tab. This is what Jeff's talking about. We've got it divided out by floor. This is what our software allows us to do. And as you can see at this point, all we're doing is giving access to the overall experience. And again, less about the individual parts and pieces that make it. The mindset is creating the best possible experience for one, you as the dealer when programming it, but creating a seamless experience across all of these lighting platforms for the end user. Um, and again, same thing goes with shades as well. So thanks for showing us that, Jeff. I think you guys are gonna really like what we've done to uh, overhaul our lighting. Thanks for joining us.